Um, Mr. Lillian here, and obviously, if you can see me down the bottom. Um, so today we're going to do Gavin. Okay, it's a poem by Kathleen Maud. Right, so a couple of the key words that you want to need are a Searsha and Deersha. Okay, so obviously we know the name Searsha. It means freedom. Okay, but uh, if you put a D in front of the S, it's Deersha, which means a lack of freedom. Okay, so it's two key words that we're going to do. This poem is a very, is just a poem that is split in half, so it's very, um, it matches up very well with Kulskara. It's the second shortest poem on the course. It's really, really easy to do, but we just need to make sure that we split the poem in two. So we have the first half of the poem and the second half of the poem. So Gavin means a prison or encaptured or something along those lines, okay? So like, the, your the person is like we are all are, are at the moment with this COVID nineteen. We are kind of we're in a prison. We're in this kind of we're locked inside. So that's kind of like the main emphasis of this part of the poem. So Gavin, the Kathleen Maud, a uh, small girl, Kathleen Maud herself, and um, she was an actress. She was a school teacher, and in the drama that we're going to be doing, probably next year depending on when we come back, um, she was the first main actress to um, to act in the first display of Untrail as a drama. So she would be very, very, um, she'd be one of the famous Irish poets. Um, she's been on this course for a long time. Um, I'm going to get more into her and more kind of like speak, I'm going to speak a small bit more about her soon, but um, we're just going to move on with the poem for now, okay? So, as you can see, I have my little helper today. Say hello. Say hello. Over hi. Say, can I say that too? Can I say that too? So, I'm just going to read the poem now. Alright, so I you want you to really emphasize. So, I'm going to read in two halves. The first half and the second half. So, you can see the first half on your screen now. Alright, so, I'm going to read the poem. And I'm going to go through it line by line. Okay. Um, and then, so if you want to take out a pen and a piece of paper and make sure you write down the meaning of each of the sentences and stuff like that, it'll make it much easier for you as we go through it, okay? So, um, Anavi me, Anavi alta, asn cho krasa, av will clu agus call er mishkev. Krahim krinta na quilla tra na mulhar. Okay, so Anavi me, I am an animal. Anavi alta, a wild animal. Asna cho krasa, okay, so from the tropics, I will clue agus call er mishkave, famed for my beauty. Krehin krinta na quilla tra na mokhar. Okay, so we get this image of an animal, okay, depending on what you think. A lot of people would look at this anavi alta, this wild animal. Avil abuta krehin krinta na quilla tra na mokhar, that's able to shake the trees with the strength of its roar, the automatic response is to think of a lion. So, like, when people are looking at this poem, they straight away generalize the Anavi Alta as a lion. So that's something just to keep in mind as we're going through the poem, okay? So the second half of the poem is, there's a big cutter snuff, a big contrast between the first half and the second half of the poem. So, like, one of the most important things is that once we, once you look at the poem, like I have in the slides, you have the first half and you have the second half. Okay, it's re it's pretty much you're you're splitting the poem down the middle. All right, so the second part of the poem, Akinish Liam Shias Agus Blahniam Tri Lahul Eron Ground Ain Rakshin Hul Tagan the Kate Dini Hula Law Ayenig Rudder Bitum Akme Ligan Amak. So Akinish, but now Liam Shias I lay down Agus Blahniam Tri Lahul and I look through half and I. Around grown Einrich Shin Hill at that lowly tree. Tagging the Kate Dini Kula Law, so the hundreds of people come every day, a yeni rudder bit dumb, a me a ligin a mock. So this poem, if you take it in regards to a lion, the first half of the poem, it's talking about its strength, its freedom, its beauty, its ability. And in the second half of the poem, it's talking about how it just lies there and looks through half an eye, has no energy, and there's hundreds of people coming every day and nothing, no one, nothing to leave them out. Okay, so 
this given for the lion, okay, for this anavi alta that he once was, is a lion in a zoo. Okay, the Ketadini Khula Law, the hundreds of people coming every day, that is visitors to the zoo looking at this lion through glass, through a cage, things like that. Whereas in the first half of the poem, okay, Anavi Me, Anavi Alta, Asna Tro Krasa, from the tropics, it will clue August Kaller Meshkeid, where it's beauty, famed for its beauty, Tagan Akei, or Hrahin Krintan Aquila Troll and Mavar. Okay, it shook the trees with the strength of its roar. This first half of the poem is the lion when it's free. So it's the lion, the first half of the poem is the lion when it had seersha. The second half of the poem is the lion when it had deersha, when it had lack of freedom, when it was it was stuck. Do you know what I mean? So we get we have this anavi fion in the first half of the poem versus the anavi fi ras in a, a zoo in the second half of the poem. Alright, so that's kind of when we're looking at the poem and we're talking about the images of the poem, etc. You can relate this anavi alta to a lion in the zoo. But it's also another meaning towards the poem that I want to get into next. Um, as I said earlier, lads, that I was talking about Kathleen Maud and stuff like that. So she was 42 years old uh, when she died. And that has relevance because this poem has is... Don Fah he look okay has two meanings okay so like if we look at the team and Don on this slide it says Bun and Don shall the course the team looked at the Sirsha August Dirsha okay so uh, it has to do with the environment it has to do with freedom and a lack of freedom uh is he talked on the Sirsha team on Don August and Chunker a being egg on Dirsha and Dina new air and Anna V so the importance of freedom is the um, main part of the poem and how effective freedom is and the effect of a lack of freedom, what that has on a person or on an animal. It's whether and don't show a skaga or ga leve. So we can examine this exam, so or we can examine this poem in two different levels. Er level literal, new er level mafrok. Okay, so mafrok is a mef metaphor, all right, and that's something that I've kind of, that's very, very important to this poem as well because we can talk about it as the lion, as I mentioned already, but also we can talk about it in a different way. So when the poet wrote this poem, when Kathleen Maud wrote the poem, she was diagnosed with Ailsha, which is cancer, A-I-L-S-E. So she had cancer and the poem is like an example of kind of like her life as this pre-cancer and as she has this illness okay it's the best way to describe it and that's why it's a Don Fahey look okay and um, so before cancer she is this Anavi Me Anavi Alta Asta Cho Krasa Awil Kluagis Kal Ermashkeve Krihin Krintin Aquila Trawl Mahar okay she is this wild animal this strong animal that is that cannot be contained she is wild she is tropic she can do what she wants that was her before she had cancer. Well, this is something that we can talk about and something that we can look into and use in our answer. The second half of the poem, Akanish Liam Shias Agus Brahaniam Tri Lahul Erum Grown Ainruk Shin Haul, Tagin the Kate Dini Hula Law, Ayening Water Bitum, Akmail Ligan Amak. This is her post cancer. Or this is her, sorry, not post cancer, this is her while she has the illness, while she has cancer. Okay, this is her. When all she can do was, she was this wild animal, now she is in this prison, this prison of illness. Okay, this gaven that she is locked into, that she can't move, she can't do anything, she can barely open her eye. The kid, the dini, the quilla law, that would do anything for her. Okay, the hundred, hugging the kid, the dini, hundreds of people come every day that would do anything for her except leave her out. Are they the people that are visiting her in the hospital? So these are things that we take into account on a deeper level and something that we take in a level literal, okay, a literal level and level mafrok. We take them in two different ways. It's really, really good when we're writing our answer to include both of them. Is that okay? So I'm just going to go through, I'm just going to go through the English um, of the notes we've written up here 
and just for you to write down your copies and stuff like that as we go through it. Um, it's not going to be anything that's going to be pretty much new. Okay, it's, we're, we're the same concept, the same thing we're talking about. It's just that you have an idea that, like, when you're writing your answers, you can talk about it er on level literal, or on level math. So it's done simply a show in a blame on for the cost and a via taught in Navin to zoo. Um, so this is a simple poem where the poet discusses the case of an animal that is imprisoned in a zoo. And a level literal shot on for a den of curses and ginal sale a v egg anavi fion tra egg almavon the antanavi no on leon sale in noon for anavi alta asna chokrasa. Okay, so on a literal level, this is the first part of the poem is describing um, what the animal was like while it was wild, when it was free from capture. Okay, Bishe uh, Lauder, August Korkduk, he was strong and powerful. Bishe Giannis on Shin, he was in charge. Sayer, August Navsblok, in Himplok, Nordorha. He was free and independent in his own environment. Bishe Arbata, Nekreen, a Krihuk, Lena Vor, Skan Rule. He was able to shake the trees with his um, massive roar. A Sergei will intentionally brodul against lawn the fain bastra. So it's clear that the animal was proud and was full of kind of confidence. And now we have the contrast coming in on cutter snuck the reach. I can shim to her picture doing the anavi hena against a naven isu a lawn a docus against an eishel bree. A gutter snuck to lesson ganal stail a via get tra. Achis anish nil she ser ags e fi smocked se zoo. So now we get a picture of, a, of the same animal imprisoned in a zoo, full of dedocus agis in ishil bree. So he's depressed basically. Okay, he has no hope, he has, he's imprisoned, he's locked, he's nothing he can do. Anish nil she ser ags e fi smocked se zoo. No, he's not free. He's a different life. He's imprisoned by the zoo. He's in control of the zoo. Kanche akwit ama in a league on spirit. He's no spirit and kind of log spirit or just tasmud gan tasmud gan tasmud imaha. That's really, really important to this poem. His his spirit is broken because of the role that he has. So again, it's really, really important that we hit it. So ta. Tashe gan spirit, gan dina, tashe brishla, tashe gan mishnak. All the things that he was in the first half of the poem have now disappeared. He's no longer portraying any of those aspects. Ni vakin she fuel than a ga hula oskal. He doesn't even bother to open his two eyes. In art for each, ni lege a crown of one. And where he is in prison, there's not only one, there's only one tree. And that's on crown anor chin hole. So on anor crown anor chin hole, that one lonely tree. And ni scan rain she ene, he doesn't scare anyone. Ni hen she a vime or ene, he doesn't affect anyone. Okay, nish lim shis, spread neem tree la hole, and on crown anor chin hole. So again, we're looking at those aspects of the the lion. His we're looking at if we're taking it on a level literal, we're looking at the person at the lion as someone or as an animal that has lost everything it's no it has it barely has interest in being alive it just sits there it lies there it's kind of that freedom that strength that courage that power that it had has all desecrated it's gone it's in my hand so here's our level mafrock okay so this is our metaphorical level all right so again like I mentioned earlier, this is something that we take into account and we use to add to our piece. All right. So our level, Ella is done. Cost the a as feather a a flay in malak mafrock. Tiglesh on Leon av will mar shimble don filla new don dinner fein a tart resirsha av vlasha ach a coil in yig she shin. Okay. So Tiglesh on Leon av so the lion is a symbol for the poet or for a person that once tasted freedom and is after losing it. Shanska will not fill a current it will do in Gamrahanshi, Gabulshi Fain in Navin the Kinal Egan. Better will a sail Chorinta in a Sula. Gabulshi Kasul Leshan Leon Marvan Nu Mar Illa. Ishrinta Sail Gan and Tirsha Gormale a Betake. 
ta shansaun ke wil mi hom portiokt agis kert in the man of flay beilnok vil shig fall antis mar van illa so this is a different aspect of it that we can talk about okay i usually would look at the metaphorical piece as kind of like her illness all right but what we could look at and one way we could look at it is that this was this metaphor metaphorical level was a poet talking about how she didn't have the same rights as a male poet and that she's not getting the same reputation she doesn't have this kind of um i suppose yeah reputation like i said that if she was a man would she have gotten more kind of more freedom to write about and more respect all right so um like what she's saying is that like she had this freedom and now it has gone is it because of her writing that she has lost this freedom so this slide is the one that's most important um in regards to level mafrok okay or mafrok if you prefer um and this would be something that i that this is something i've mentioned a few times okay so totomi ella egg on villa or a totomi ella gavuna filla egg then a tire dot dross lot that she's referencing her poor health vishi boss go hog then oilsha august kashi trusha fada in hospital time with a shim baby will she tire dot tennis said don august e in navens and hospital e in navin egon tinnis coil she on sir shags nafs blockus a via ke fadis a vishi sin ospedel vishi gunfin of gun dokus agzi egg fulling to lesion oil chat kasu lesion anavi sin don again really really simple the exam uh, what we mentioned here is that she died uh, very young of cancer she spent a long time in hospital and maybe she's referencing the hospital and the illness as her prison she so like i suppose the the illness would be her given the imprisonment okay the the illness would be her prison whereas the hospital would be her zoo she can't leave she lost her freedom she lost her nerves block as her independence all while she was in hospital Liam she is as brand name Sri Lahul she's no energy she's no hope she's like fulling she's suffering like the animal in the so before I move on all right to any of the rest of the things what I would like you to do is I would like you to do these 10 questions and I want you to I want you to type them out name the document um in your own name and just put gave and next to it and then I want you to email them back to me with the answers okay so k scrive and don who wrote the poem cut his team and don was the team k toy kinds of don who's talking in the poem uh cobble and tanavi and ish where's the animal now car coning and tanavi nor be she sayer where did he live when he was free can fall a will and tanavi call lul why was he famous why was the animal famous uh car a win on tanavi and the chokrasana what did he do in the tropics uh what does he see now what does he do every day and care but violish on anavi or care but violish on anavi what would the animal want okay as you can see this man isn't too impressed with the questions he thinks they're a bit easy what do you think easy so just a very very quick thing on the ivana the ivana speak for themselves with the poem okay they're really really straightforward and um, pictorial yes on the right it uh, leon is dinas brodul uslot and avime nero is an animal he's not dead tommy bio he's alive and he's in charge to assertion he is freedom whereas the pictorial clader is a doka so like kind of like a lack of hope dear sha gavin liam shakes it's brahni and sri lahul is totally opposite to what the lion was um when it was free when i had searsha so what i want you to do is i want you to focus on writing down five or six emotions okay in the poem name the emotion who's feeling it okay why are they feeling it 
and then use a quote to back it up. Okay, this will make things 10 times easier for you when you're actually writing your answer. If you have a page matching up your Mohokan with the quote, if the answer speaks for itself, then you have your answer correct. So pre Mohokan in the um, in the poem is broad or brodul, okay, which is pride. Skaid la mohiamid on broad avi egan anavi asfain, avi broad er gorevshe fion agis all. The Isigay Gorevshe Kalul Asa Altucht Agvisha Brodul Ashin. We should call Lauder Gorevshe Albert and the Queen a Kruhoklin a Gar. And if we Alta, I will Fluors call a Mushkeir. So we see the pride that the, port, that the lion has. Okay, he is able, he's, he's his own animal. He's, pride, he's proud of that, he's wild, he's beautiful, he's, he knew he was famous. Do you know what I mean? He knew his power. He was shaking the trees. So like pride was a big thing in the poem and it's a big emotion that is kind of throughout the first paragraph in, or the first half of the poem in particular. So then we have Uignis or Brown. All right, so ta Uignis agus Brown more er an anvisa darala ta se fuit las se zu agus niel cad amach again. Is queen lesh an seil a vie agest na quilt de fado nor a vie se Okay, so the poem, so the lion is lonely and sad, all right, in the second half of the poem. It's locked up in a zoo. It has no permission to leave. Um, it's queenish and sail of the And I can remember the um, his life in the in the wild um, when it was free. Neil she ser con rit timple She's not free to run around now. Tosh in naven se zoo. He's imprisoned in a zoo. A fake and a crown of on looking at one tree. Brahanid on two ignis, ugs and bronata air touched knocker of she of the Marath doll in a temple of Nardorha. So we can see um, the um, loneliness and then sadness in the poem through the way he was surviving. And um, so the final Mohukan in the poem that like is really evident and that we can like talk loads about is uh, Aspa Massa, okay, which is like a lack of respect. Okay, so and talking or ta Aspa Massa. Uh, er mar anvi se darak with the dawn, a uh, valert avi fear nor a varak chase na cho crassa. Tagin dini er court quilla quilla la, ak shin on maid. But ralish a hoked a ve erashige ags ni ligging the dini a mache. Tagin the kate dini quilla la, again a gooder bitum, ak me a ligging a mach. Um, Brahin shin knock will in vas ag dini er ni smo, current shay shol lesh umbrone a mahi and shay fresh. So like one of the main aspects here is like the lack of respect that he has as an animal now and how like again we have that total contrast in the first part of the poem when he is like um Klugis call Ermush gave. So like the Aspen masks come from Yeni Rudder Bit Dum, Achme Ligan and Mach. There's no kind of look nobody looks at him as an animal anymore. It's an object, it's something to watch. Um, something with expectations, whereas when he had the seersha in the opening paragraph, in the opening verses, it's like total, the total opposite. There's total contrast there. Um, so like, you know, the Chokrasa is when he was, when he was living in the Chokrasa, he was a totally different um, type of being, a totally different animal, which is the same as the poet when she was full of health compared to when she was sick. So I'm sure you're all sick of me talking about cutter stuff, so I'm not going to go into detail about it. I've done enough on it. I'm just going to read out what it means and or what the part, what this part, what this slide means, and um, give you the English. All right. So talk cutter stuff louder. The fall is a dawn. Crohin and fill a cutter stuff. It are sieve on anavi and nuv agus and nay. It are searsha agus dearsha. When in court got August spirit, lauder lesh an anavi, August a serious natural crassa. When an aspa cocta, August a docus lesh, August a free smock. So there's a strong contrast in the poem. Um, there's a contrast between the where the animal is living now compared to where it was living, as it, the contrast between Sirsha and Dirsha, the contrast between power and the strong spirit that it had, and the lack of power 
and the lack of hope and the broken spirit it has now. So like they're the main aspects of the Kudrasnot um, in the poem in um, in a literal sense when we're looking at the animal in particular. So once again, this is a follow up to what I was saying earlier. I'm not going to go into detail whether if this is just a good sample answer if we're talking about the Kudrasnot and uh, this is a good strong aspect. I'll also be sending notes and stuff like that on it um, as we go through during the week. So we have the frutal, so the technique of the filiocta. Uh, frutal is the language of the poem. Um, Kint na fukalu sadin fila uh, ta se laum simply na dorha eskele tishkent agus dirok. Tigamin kalta arai gan fila, kadi na fukalu sadin si kun kasa an vi karanul tra khrihin an mok ni nuk isha an. Um, freshin na rudi, like ta an ton frutal agus an chala an an eskele div. So like Bakor Gavil Ahna a Gwiv er Gok Ain Lina as Gavil Tishkin to Gwiv er Gok Ain Nia. So it's really important that you understand every single sentence of the poem. Once you understand the poem, understand this every every line of the poem, it makes it easier to con to contrast or to compare them and to show the colour snuff between them as well. So just make sure that you're getting used to and you're learning the full poem. Is that okay? So I decided not to do any kind of notes on the person two. So person two is personification in the poem. So I decided not to do anything in particular on this written. So I just want you to listen and just take down a few bullet points and stuff like that as can. Person two is really, really important to the poem because the poet is taking personification herself and is personifying herself through the lion or through the anavi alta. We don't even know if it's a lion. But she is comparing her life and her position in that moment to the Anavi Alta in the poem that she is writing about. <coughs> Top of coronavirus. Um so on Royal Atal made Conyan of not Tommy Con fake and Aaron Parson to in an Okay. Um I have notes on this mixed in with the colour snuff. But again, the main thing we're talking about here is that we are looking at person two, the poet is the animal in the poem. And if you look at it that way, then you can compare her case to the case going on for every sing for every line. So like Anavi May, Anavi Alta, Asna Cho Krasa, I will Clu August Caller Machgave. So the Clu August Caller Machgave part, she could have been famed for her beauty because she was an actress and she was kind of like looked at as someone that had status at the time, okay? Hrahim Krintan Mkwila Trala Magar, okay? Her roar might, be, might have been her, her written work, her acting, her singing. She was a Shanos singer. If you type in Kathleen Maud, uh, Shanos, she's a Shanos singer. You can listen to her singing. Um, she had like all of these different aspects going for her she, and she was also a school teacher. So like she had loads and loads of things that were going for when she was well. So then we compare that to the contrast of the second half of the poem where she was Iglesias talking to Katie Dean Quilla Law, Dean Grother, a bit dumb like me. She was looking for an escape from this illness. And like we don't know what that meant literally, but it was still something that had her locked up and something that like she really needs to that she wanted to kinda get out of. All right, so that's thanks very much um, for listening again. Through hopefully you went through all of it. Um, they're like two minutes aside. It's really important that like you do listen to it. Um, I'm not going to do the class on tomorrow, the Zoom class, because I want to, I'm going to give you tomorrow to get through it. But I'm going to try to do something on Thursday. I'll give you the link and everything like that. Then, if you have any questions or any of the notes that I've done, just let me know and um, I'll cover them for you, all right? I also want you just to write down some notes, some bullet points as to what you want to ask me because the next class, um, there will be a chance for you to talk back to me and stuff like that and we'll go through it that way, all right? Okay, that's long before, Grameen Margaret.